Hi, Dr. Phil. My name is Sasha Kagan, and I'm a life and executive coach and the author of the book Quirky Alone, A Manifesto for Uncompromising Romantics. I have also been writing about self-marriage and observing the trend for 20 years. And 10 years ago, I married myself in Buenos Aires in a very small ceremony um, with two women friends witnessing. And so I've become kind of an expert on self-marriage and I also coach women on marrying themselves. And some of those women are single and some of them are married. So <laughs> I kind of have the big picture about how self-marriage has grown as a trend. I started out as someone who understood it intellectually as an act of self-love. When I first started interviewing women about uh, marrying themselves, they told me they had a pattern of losing themselves in relationship, something that is so common for women to do, and that the act of marrying themselves was a way of honoring and valuing themselves and being different in a relationship. So I think the one thing to really clear up about self-marriage is that generally these are people who want to be in a relationship and they want it to be a healthy one where they're connected and together with someone else without losing themselves. So um, I met these women and I wrote about them in my 2004 book, Quirky Alone, and they inspired me. But it wasn't until I turned 40 myself and I was single that I actually got attracted to the idea of marrying myself. Um, for me, it was a, a ritual of celebration of my arrival as an adult and also a part of my therapeutic process of learning to love and have compassion for all parts of myself, even the parts that have been difficult to be with. So since then, I have coached many other women on how to marry themselves. I run a group coaching program um, for a year where part of the journey is women marrying themselves. Um, I've officiated ceremonies for other women, and it's such a beautiful thing because it's something where everyone else, everyone who is in the presence of the ceremony is lifted up because that person has made vows to themselves about how they want to treat themselves. And it, it just gives a moment of recognition about how we can actually make ourselves happy with the attitude that we bring to ourselves and we don't have to rely on another person. So self-marriage... To me, it's not about wearing a white dress, like I'm wearing one one now, but I like to encourage people to do it their own way. It's an opportunity to be creative. Um, and it definitely doesn't mean being single for a lifetime. Like the point is to go through this experience of declaring your love for yourself and the vows you're making and see how that influences the rest of your life, including the relationships that you have with other people including romantic partnership, but every relationship really. So I would love to come and be that person on the show who can provide the bird's eye view because I know there's a lot of misunderstandings about self-marriage and um, a lot of judgment. And because I've been watching it for so long, 20 years, I've done it myself, I've seen many other people go through the process, I, I get it and I, I feel like I can speak to the objections and um, provide the reason like why women are marrying themselves more and more and quite frankly some men too it's not only for women so if you're interested happy to chat more um thanks for doing this topic like i think it's really cool that you're covering this bye